So the pieces you want here is, a, I'm using the three-fourths cross, and this is a half pipe. The reason why I use the three-fourths cross here is you could put the pipes on both sides to, for like the arms, the shoulders and the arms. Here it could be the spine, here it could be the neck, uh, but this is why I use it. And then, of course, this little motor setup, I have my other video how you can make that. And so what you're going to want to do is screw in the synchronous motor into the cross. These screws need to be two and a half to three inches long for it to fit, see on both sides. So it's pretty stuck in there. And then you screw in this half pipe here to the cross. Now this is stuck. And so for the purpose of it, of, uh, I'm sorry, when you here on this one, you want to screw in a screw on one side and a screw on the other side. So once you have this set up, cross the pipe, the motors and screws on both sides. The purpose of it is when it moves, it's going to go, it's going to go this way, hit, come this way, hit, and now it'll give you your back and forth motion there. So once you have it all together and you turn on the synchronous motor, it's going to do this thing where it moves back and forth. It'll hit. Hits there, stops, comes back, moves here, stops, go back. And that's how you can get your spinning motion there. Now what I've found to be the best thing to use on these are the styrofoam heads. You can get them at Michael's or any fabric store. And because this pipe or a half of the pipe fits right there in that hole, so, what you do is you'll, let me try to get it right. So you could, once you stick it on there, then look. Now, oops. all right, so here's just like a CPR dummy that uh, was donated to me. So let me look. And that's how you can make a moving head on one of your props using these motors.